Greetings, folks, and welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Coco Smooth, the casual collector. And in this segment of One Tell Scale Military Action Figures Takes, I am showcasing Operation Monster Force number seven, the Sleepwalker Crimson Moon Division. Um, yeah. Uh, my main motivation for picking this bad boy up was because I wanted an Action Force uh, red. <laughs> um, forgot what they were called. Red something. Red laser. It escapes me at the moment. But yeah, the I wanted to get the Palatoy uh, original character from the Action Force version in 112 scale. And this was the closest thing that that's out there that can do it and yes here's the seven uh made by it's a i guess destroyed by a big bad workshop and fresh monkey fiction really cool stuff uh the forgotten king has returned see the box art they get one two three four five six seven there's eight of these bad boys so yeah four one, two, three, four, five troop builders and three OG, more OG characters. But yeah, here's what it looks like in the package. And I'm having to do it this way because, um, yeah, the incident that took place in the first. <laughs> so you guys can see what happens when you open it and it's, you know, you might have a missing parts or the wrong heads or wrong, you know. So this is why I'm doing this, folks. Uh, yeah, looks like I got everything here so far. Looks like so far, so far, right? So far away from me. All right, so let's take him out of the package. My trusty exacto knife. Trusty. Okay. Caution. Not for you three-year-olds right here. All right. Uh, uh, I'm just going to tell you guys straight off the bat that I'm arming him with old-school baddie weapons because <laughs> he looks like he deserves old-school baddie stuff. Um, while I get it, most people are into the really groovy monster sci-fi kind of stuff that is not me per se but it does look good it, aesthetically speaking it's it, it looks very good especially trying to create that mars attack style look you know that whatever era that is um man there's like a bunch of stuff here hoses and different area codes and oh my gosh yeah oops May have been a bad idea to do it like this. <laughs> Holy smokes. Yeah. Uh, hmm. I didn't know that he, he came. Well, I should have known. I've seen uh, punks and beasts. Uh, well, punks um, videos. I don't think, I don't think uh, I've seen Bobby B do uh, the walkers yet. Just the, um, the Delta Reds. But yeah, punk stuff. He did it. He did it three times already. <laughs> I should have known that. You know, it's so different when you see it in real life versus when you're seeing it the way he's doing it. Now that it, it's here, I'm like, yep. He wasn't playing. There really is a bunch of hoses there. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Uh. I like this. I should have gotten more, but. You know, money at the it's a thing and you just kind of yeah no nah, i'm gonna get some more bbts i'm i'm, I'm getting more folks <laughs> i'm gonna troop build this bad boy at least maybe one or two more Ooh. now i know that there's a supposed to be a, a a thigh swivel here but stubborn right meow yeah it's super stubborn folks uh, i'm a little worried little worried just you know let's I don't want to break anything, but you guys are going to see how stubborn it is, right? I'm afraid that if I twerk, twerk this, it'll, it'll ruin the, it'll snap the, 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 where the, the peg, where the hip connects, right? But the thigh swivel, hmm, may need to 
heat it up first before trying to brave through it you know yep yeah it's gonna I've, yeah no too much pressure i don't i don't want to mess it up uh yeah it comes with your standard hands you know what this light might be a little too bright for y'all today but yeah here we go uh he's he comes with two just regular holding hands not actual trigger so one of them i'm gonna make the trigger as quickly as humanly possible and i think you've heard my critique on the last uh it's not really a critique but my assessment on these these are very reminiscent of gi joe mezco hands versus like anything close to valiverse and gi joe hands actually as far as the way it grips the weapons that is so uh, i should do a compare and contrast video one day so you guys understand what i mean um yeah for mesco collectors out there y'all y'all will know you, you you get when you if you guys are collecting these you're gonna like hey it has mesco gi joe tendencies all right cool so let me take this head off because this head looks money too yeah you're gonna have to get bunch you gotta troop build these simply on these magnificent heads alone these heads are a freaking win guys oh my gosh it's a it's a great look total win folks total win um all right so it comes with the head secretly they don't want to i guess super advertise it because you know it treads on uh <laughs> i guess i don't know who owns it you know grounds gi joe has bro hang on folks valiverse is that more clear folks i'm sorry i didn't realize just how uh dirty the screen my my camera view was my bad guys Yeesh. i was like why is it not looking like the way i want it to look on the phone and i'm like oh you know what i think i forgot to wipe the lens here we go well, yeah it's a good look i don't know so much about this though but this face thing here is on point it's getting me fake nostalgia vibes and i'm saying fake nostalgia because i wasn't around palatoy was not a thing in the states this is this was a uk thing but uk people i'm sure that they this is what they're looking for they're like yes finally but yeah i say it's fake nostalgia but when i saw it i'm like i'm celebrating i'm looking at analog toys uh celebrating uh his his uh old school vintage figures and i'm thinking that if he's a fan of if he got this in his collection he must be low-key a little bit excited you know you know probably get him a little bit of the nostalgia bug you know i said i'm happy for those guys in you know across the pond and down under who was collecting pallet toy stuff uh, and they're seeing this and i'm like yeah you know what for I, I want to get i want to join in that fake vintage nostalgia because again while it is indeed vintage i wasn't i don't have nostalgia because this wasn't a thing but i just love the gi joe lore and history so this is one of my main motivations for picking up this guy and that's why i picked up the black one and i'm seriously contemplating the the heavy arms guy who am i kidding it's coming i'm gonna get it at some point it's it's gonna happen folks um but yeah that's a good gosh dang look oh yeah and you know let's let's also put on this this head these these heads are are great folks and not only that oh i love the way that it could look up the neck thing is just such a really awesome thing none of the others do it so monster force for the win hopefully the rest of the the uh others come you know make you know come up in engineering and make up something like that for their figs because this is a doggone win you know a win for toy collecting humanity <laughs> yeah well this is well this is a great look um for now since i only have one this is going to be my primary look 
for this guy simply because I always wanted the red shadows. There you go. That was the name I was looking at for. You know, I always wanted to to get one of these simply after I saw the history of these things, how the UK had their own GI Joe and they kind of got integrated in. I was like, yes, I think I want to play. I hope they do make that Valiverse and them or whoever Fresh Monkey one, whoever is going to provide it, is going to come up with more Palatoy looking stuff. I'll definitely pick up their SAS characters. Just because they look so good to me, you know. So this backpack with multiple hoes in different area codes. Area codes. Um, and I think this is an armband. Okay, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to put it. But I'm just going to put it on the left hand side. Because the left hand side is the manly side, I guess, for the time. <laughs> there might be another... Thing here but that's just where everybody seems to be doing it right all the cool kids are doing it uh okay so different hoses for this uh these weapons right here they plug in to, to, to these but i'm not gonna front i'm not quite sure how i'm sure uh, there there's a way to figure this out What's a giver, taker, plugger? <laughs> okay, so it looks like you can plug on the side over here. I don't even know what this is for. I'm going to have to do some research a little bit. This looks like a landmine of some kind-ish. That's just what I imagine it would be. I don't know if that's what it really actually is. Um, and a bunch of different, uh, see, I have no idea. This is, this is very complicated. Hmm. Uh, yeah. So your boy may have to stop this video, pause this video for a little bit to try and figure this out because again, it's, it seems very complicated, like two different size, there are three different sizes of hose. We got two, sh two short ones, right? And what appears to be maybe the same size all three si same size maybe even four no 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 two two medium ones there's got to be mediums because these seem super this one is super long yeah and i think this is one of the super long ones too yep 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 yep, yep, yep. so yeah uh i don't know what if one is a spare and the others i'm not sure I'll, i'm gonna have to figure that out so uh if y'all don't mind i'll gonna pause to figure it out i've kind of given up i have no clue how to put this sucker together it's it was is it is a mess trying to figure it out um i do know this uh this gun looks really cool uh i'm sure that these hoses fit somewhere uh just all over the place uh, this gun looks kind of cool for, a, like I said, a Mars Attacks looking kind of groovy monster thing. Not my vibe, not my preferred look, but I, I mean, I, I, I respect it for, for what it is. It is, you know, got that, you know, groovy. For, for those guys who were really into that era of, you know, Mars Attack style. And uh, yeah, this kind of pistol thing that he's got going on too. Really cool. Trying to figure out whether which one. Yeah, there you go. That's closer to the trigger thing. Yeah, very again, very reminiscent of the Mars Attack style look. You know, uh, but y'all know what I'm gonna do. the The truth of the matter is, I had. I had I had a vision, <laughs> and my vision included <laughs> these kind of baddie weapons. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is the kind of this is more of the look that I was interested in when it came to 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 to, to this fig, right? So yeah, I know I cheated, guys. I just couldn't help myself. This is just how I'm built. I had a vision of what I wanted to do with these these guys, and this is what's included, you know, AKs, 
AK, you know, Euro baddie weapons. They are Euro, so it only makes sense to me that they were, you know, provided that kind of Euro baddie uh, weapon. You know what I mean? So that's that was my vision for 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 these guys, right? This this is just how I'm how how I I roll. I mean, look at the uniform. Just so very vintage. It only makes sense that they're using. Uh, vintage esque kind of arms, you know? So, yeah. Classic bat Euro baddie weapons, you know? I'd say. But yeah, um, final thoughts on this thing. This is for me, as for, for my purposes, this is going to be my, you know, Euro baddie uh, troop builder. He's gonna go along well with my Cobra Troopers when I uh, when they make a Baron Iron Blood. When that happens, when the Crimson guys come, this guy's gonna be there with them, and I'm gonna have them as a faction that goes up against GI Joes and Cobra at the same time. Go up against them, you know, a third faction to just wreck the entire scene. You know, <laughs> that's how I, that's how I envision these things. So, yeah, um, while these are cool and 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 monsterific right it's not my vibe but uh you know for those who are into that kind of thing that's cool not me you know so yeah um you know i'm gonna troop build these to be my palatoy you 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 know uh euro baddies so yeah <laughs> i hope i didn't disappoint you guys i mean this this is Anyone who's a, who's who's been in my channel understands that this was inevitably where Coco was going to go. You know, red is red and black is my one of my favorite color sequences. So naturally, I I'm going to give this a fair a very high rating. And once the black one comes, I'm I'm probably going to be compelled to give it a high rating. It'll be just pretty much the same, of course. Maybe a little bit of different accessories. And the heavy arms guy, well, heavy arms guy, who's gonna He's going to end up, if I true build, they're still going to be carrying Euro Batty weapons. So that's that's just my my take on it. So, all right, folks, that's all I got for this segment of 112 Scale Military Action Figures Takes, the uh, Operation Monster Force. Number seven, Sleepwalker Crimson Moon Division. I am your host, Coco Smooth, the casual enabler. <laughs> and until the next video, folks, ciao.